Welcome to another session. Today, in this video, we are going to do a crossword puzzle um, about places around the world. Um, in this crossword puzzle, I know that it might be a little bit more challenging um, to identify certain places around the world if you're not familiar with traveling internationally um, or know some facts about certain areas. So I'm gonna include additional um, tidbits and even shaded um, areas of, of the places that you need to guess to hopefully help identify the answers. So good luck and have some fun. And of course, learn some fun facts about places around the world. Okay, so we are actually gonna go from starting with um, all the cross um, blanks and then moving to the down um, blanks. So the first one is three across, which is right here. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six letters. Six letters. And the clue is the biggest country in South America. And again, it's six letters. Do you guys know what the biggest country in South America is? If you need another um, guess, the next screen is the shape of this country. Does that help you out? If you didn't know, the big, biggest country in South America is Brazil. Did you know that 60% of Amazon rainforest is in Brazil. So if you've ever wanted to be in an explorer rainforest, Brazil is a great place to go. Okay, we're going to seven across. This is a long one. This is right here, right in the middle. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven letter word. And the clue is man-made passage connecting the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Eleven letter word. What connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? Maybe a visual would help. I'll give you another clue. It starts with a P and it ends with an L. Does anyone know? So it begins with a P, ends in an L, 11 letter word, and it's what the area that's called, the area called that connects the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Yes, it is the Panama Canal. Did you know that 13,000 ships cross the pa Panama Canal yearly? Okay, 11. 11 across right here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letter word. Eight letter word, and the clue is new name of Constantinople. And I'll give you a clue, it starts with an I. So what's the new name of what used to be called the Const Constantinople? One more clue. This place is the only pan 
continental city in the world that's situated on two continents, Europe and Asia. Does anyone know? The answer is Istanbul. Okay, we're moving on to fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six letter word right here, just below Istanbul. And the clue is the German city where Checkpoint Charlie was located. Here's a shaded out area of what the answer is to see if maybe if you were to see it on a map and what the shape of the area is like, you might get it. I'll give you another clue. It starts with a B. A fun fact about this place is that you can visit a different museum almost every day that it rains there. Meaning it averages about 106 days per year of rainfall and it is home to 180 museums. The answer is Berlin. We're going to move over here. 13 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word. And the clue, the first clue is Tiananmen Square is located in this city. I would have known that just by that clue. So here is a shared out area of what this place looks like on the map to see if that can help you. Any ideas? If not, it starts with a B and ends with a G. The answer is Beijing. Did you know that Beijing was named 15 other names before it was finalized to Beijing? Okay, 16 across is only one, two, three, four letters. So a four letter word, the clue is the smallest of the Great Lakes. So this is actually located in the United States. The Great Lakes, what is the smallest one? And it's four letters long. If you need to see kind of the area, the next slide will, might help you out. Yes, it's Lake Erie. Fun fact about Lake Erie, they say that there's a sea monster named Bessie, similar to the Loch, um, Loch Ness Monster. Um, it was fir Bessie was first seen in 1783. There have been recent reports of sightings in, in recent years. Okay, 17 across is one, two, three, four, five letters long. And this is the capital of Japan. So does anyone know what the capital of Japan is? Here's an area, a shaded out area of the answer to help you out. Yes, it's Tokyo. So fun fact about Tokyo. It's the most populous metropolitan area. The Shimbula crossing, I hope I'm saying that right, 
is the world's busiest intersection. And here's a picture of that, of that intersection. Okay, we've done all across, so let's work our way down. So we're one down, so we might have some helper letters here. So we have, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word, and there's an L for the third letter. And the first clue is a U.S. city that is the gateway to the west. Gateway to the west. So here's a picture of a shaded out area of the answer. So hopefully that will help narrow it down if you're still questioning the answer. Another clue, this um, city consumes more barbecue sauce per capital than any other U.S. city. Yes, it is St. Louis. Okay, we're going to go two down. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word again, but this time it ends with an A. How many of you have been to the four corners before? If you have this, you might guess this one pretty quickly. The four corner states include New Mexico, Utah, Colorado, and what other state that's seven letters long with an A as the last letter? If you still need help, here's a shaded out area of the answer. Yes, it is Arizona. Here's a fun fact about Arizona. Did you know that the state of Arizona is home to 22 national parks and monuments? I would love to go visit all 22. I've been to a handful, but not all 22. Wouldn't that be awesome? Four, four down, starts with an A and ends with an A and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letter word and the seventh letter, there's an L. And the clue is country that's also a Continent. Country that's also a continent. It begins with an A, ends with an A, and there's an L toward the end of the word. Like before, here's the, here's the answer as if you were to see on a map, but it's shaded out. So it's the shape of the area. Does that help? So name all the continents and which one ends and begins with an A and has an L in it. Yes, Australia. This is a fun fact. So when you think of Australia, you think of warm and, and beaches in the outback, which is pretty much deserty, you know, uh, and dry. But did you know the mountainous area called Australian, the Australian Alps? 
and it gets more snow than the Swiss Alps. And it's located, the Alps are between New Wells and Victoria. I didn't know that there was an area of Australia that got lots of snow and, and really cold. Okay, five down, right here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six letters. And the clue is country where the Trans-Siberian Railroad spans. And it ends with an A, I forgot to say that. It ends with an A. Here's a shared out picture of the area of what the answer is. If that, maybe that might help. Yes, the answer is Russia. Here's the interesting fact about those that are from Russia. Um, it says that the Russians are taught not to smile um, because they believe it's a sign of weakness. The only people that they really smile to is family and people that they are really close to. Okay, we're going to go to six down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letter word. There's an A, there's an I, there's a B, and there's an E. And the clue is Haiti is located in this C. So if you know maps, and locations of places, you might know the, the sea where Haiti is located. Yes, it's the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Did you know that there's only two seasons in Haiti? They're known as dry and wet. Eight down. Starts with an A, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six letters, and there's an I in it. And the clue is Madagascar is an island off of this continent. Here's a shared out image of this place to help you out. Yes, it is Africa. Did you know that most of the most of the diamonds that that we see come out of Africa or come from Africa? Okay, nine, we're gonna to move to the other opposite end. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letter word, and there's an L for the third letter. And the clue is Ecuador Island where Darwin studied. I'll, get, I'll give you another clue and then a shaded out area if you still need help. It said that 94% of this island's area is a national park. So if you ever go visit there, you're pretty much visiting a national park. And then here's a shaded out area or the shape of the area to help you out. Okay, if you still haven't gotten it, 
It's where the big tortoises, the large, one of the largest tortoises is from, and it's named after the tortoise. It's Galapagos Island. That's one place I would love to go, mainly for the tortoises. Okay, 10 down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word. Mount Blank has the highest peak in the world. Yes, Mount Everest is the answer. I'll show you a picture of Mount Everest and all like the elevation levels that um, kind of are distinguished, especially for those that are hiking it um, and trying to climb it. But here's a fun fact about Everest. Did you know that it grows 44 millimeters every year? I did not know that. Um, right now it's 8,848 meters tall. So here's a picture of um, Mount Everest. Okay, we're down to our last two. So 12 down. It starts with a T, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, and there's an O that it ends with. The capital of Ontario. The capital of Ontario. Here's a, a kind of a map view of the area, but it's shaded out. Did that picture of the area help out? If not, here's a fun fact, um, another clue. This is the only Canadian city with seven major league sports teams. So again, it starts with a T and ends with an O, and there's an R for the third letter. Did you guess it was Toronto? Okay, our last word is one, two, three, four, five letter word. And the clue is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Pisa is located in this country. Again, it starts with an I and ends with an Y. Yes, it's Italy. Here's a shared out area. Remember, Italy is kind of shaped like a boot, just um, for your amusement. But here's a fun fact about Italy. Did you know that it was the fifth most visited country in the world? Have you ever visited Italy before? It's a beautiful, I haven't visited many areas of Italy, but I visited a few areas and it's a gorgeous country. Um, but yes, so we just did a cross apart and we, tra and we traveled around the world. I hope you enjoyed this um, video and doing this crossword puzzle with me, um, especially learning some fun facts about these places. So thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time.